a growing number of CAFO or concentrated animal feeding operations in South Dakota continues to cause division in Yankton. KCAU 9 reporter Rebecca Pryor visiting one of the area's newest CAFOs and talks with people on both sides of the issue in tonight's top story at 6. Yeah, divided indeed, Tim. While the farmer I spoke with today believes CAFOs will boost the economy and strengthen rural communities, the two residents that live nearby the farm say CAFOs are the reason behind various health problems and heartache. For decades, agriculture has been South Dakota's largest industry. But what that industry looks like may be changing. Farming needs to change in order to survive. The reality is we can't earn a living on on small farms. CAFO farming is nothing new in states like Iowa, Nebraska, and Minnesota. But South Dakota is starting to see more of these facilities being built. South Dakota is a state that's a little late to the game. The state has had 18 new CAFOs put in production just over the last 18 months, one of those being built here in Yankton County. The margins are so small. You have to have so many acres to earn a good living. And farmers should be allowed to earn a good living. And this allows for diversification, and it gives you a steady income. Yankton farmer Carl Shank says it was getting harder to earn a living on grain alone. We need to create opportunities in rural America for the next generation to come back and farm. Instead of holding animals in fenced fields, outdoor pens, or open barns, CAFOs hold animals in mass inside confined concrete barns, something Shank says is actually healthier for the livestock. The environment is controlled. The animals do better in a controlled environment. Which in turn is good for profits. So they're, they're gaining weight more quickly and more efficiently. And we are using their, their manure as a um, fertilizer for our crops. So it's a very sustainable circle. That's that one barn and they're screaming all the time. But some Yankton residents have expressed both emotional and physical concerns over the expansion of these CAFOs in the area. A lot of it having to do with smell. There's other people who, you know, live close by, who have, like, breathing difficulties. The odor impacted us a lot. The smell was so bad that it would burn our eyes and our throat. Residents also believe CAFOs will lower property values and have the potential to pollute the environment. Yankton is just a little jewel in South Dakota, and the thought of filling this county with pigs, it just makes me sick. There's a lot of fear out there, a lot of um, uh, misstatements of the truth, and th there's a lot of positive aspects to these barns. Over the past decade, South Dakota has seen a nearly 15% rise in the number of CAFOs in operation. Rebecca Pryor, KZU 9 News.